Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel. It's Kato again with another look at Valiverse Action Force. Today, day five of reviews, I'm going to take a look at The Bone Collector. So, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're going to roll the intro and get started. It's Kato! Like always, the first thing we'll do is take a look at the packaging, and the packaging we've come to know pretty well. You've got the dark black faded into the camo with Action Force on the front, the name Bone Collector on the bottom with Valiverse logo. On the top, you've got Action Force, Valiverse, and a warning that I don't care about. Action Force on the side, and on the other side, this great black and white artwork, Bone Collector, 0103 on the back you have the rest of the wave along with the bio card the rest of the wave there i only have carrick left to review and the bio card i love his bio card this guy sounds like a total badass and sounds like he would make the punisher scream for his mama let's go over a few things that are familiar by now that come in the package you have the multiple hand options he comes with the closed fists on the figure itself you have the trigger hands left and right relaxed closed hands left and right and the open palm for holding barrels or whatever you fancy figure photographers can come up to do with that and of course you have the figure stand which i've praised since the first time i opened it now let's go over the new stuff First up, you get his K-Bar. It's black with a silver painted blade. I think that looks amazing. Got a little bit of a serrated edge on top there. You get his Magnum, silver paint with a black grip and the rail slides on the top and bottom. I think that looks brilliant. And you get his rifle. It's an AR frame rifle with the M203 on the bottom. It is the same rifle design that we got with Steel Brigade. And you get his bone face mask, and it just slides on over his head. You can see the straps there with very uh, skeletal-looking features on the front. That looks creepy as hell. In case you're curious, this is how it looks with the mask on. You can see the eyes line up well, the nose lines up well, and the brackets and uh, straps line up well. The rifle fits right into his hand, just like with Steel Brigade and any of the other figures with this hand style, which in this case is all of them. You've got the extra mags here, which I didn't mention, but just like with Steel Brigade, the magazine is removable. Magnum fits right into the holster just fine. And the K-Bar has a nice big sheath there in the back. Be careful sliding this in. The weakest point of this thing will be right here at the smallest and thinnest plastic. Just when you, it fits in there fine, but just shove it in there lightly, if you know what I'm saying, and don't force it in too much. You don't want to bend that. With the accessories out of the way, we can take a look at the figure itself. Let's take a look at that head sculpt first. They have done so well with adding character into these head sculpts and not just being bland. You've got that nice, sleek, squeak, squeak, bald head his deep set eyes and the coloring around the eyes let you know that this dude has seen some things. He's not a young man. Always be weary of old men in a game where people die young, right? That's uh, this, this guy has been around the block. Going down, you've got the straps to the vest, these big collars here to protect the neck. You've got the M203 shells littered across the front of his vest. You can see the armor, plain and simple. He's not hiding anything brown for the vest under there. The K-Bar sheath, nice little spot for a backpack should you want to use one. Black all the way down the arms to the green and black gloves. You have this lighter shade of camo that we than we've seen before with the green and grayish camo here. Straps for the mag pouch, which he has two extra mags in there like any good man should. You've got the holster for his Magnum on this uh, right leg here. Of course, you have his pull strap here. Leave no man behind. Coming all the way down to the legs, you've got the simple, old-school black combat boots. You're going to have about the same articulation as you've had with the rest of it. Uh, with the mask on, it may be hindered a bit, but you've got 
plenty of left and right. He can turn all the way around there. You've got that disc with a ball in there so he can look down plenty, look up plenty, even with that collar there. It's very well spaced right here so you can still use that upward articulation. So that's awesome on the arm. Again, same straight out rotation at the bicep. Butterfly does not get hindered by the vest. Rotation at the bicep there. Double hinged elbow, pinless. Rotation at the wrist and in and out at the wrist. On the waist, you've got rotation at the waist. And believe it or not, you can still utilize the ab crunch because this is a bit softer than it looks. So you can still get that ab crunch front and back. Really like that. Legs will go straight out, especially with that drop hinge right there. They will kick up a little further than straight away just because of that drop hinge. And the same to the back. This hard butt's going to block it on all of them. Put that back up. You've got rotation at the upper thigh. You have the double pinless knee joint that will kick all the way up. Mine's a little tight. Probably should have heated a little bit, but yeah, you know what I do. Take them out of the box and show them. Rotation at the calf here at the boot cut. Tilt up, down, and ankle rocker. Same as we've seen throughout the line, and that's a good thing. For a quick size comparison, there he is beside Steel Brigade and the Sarge. Condor and the Swarm Trooper. Gung Ho and Roadblock, two of the larger Joe classified figures. And Flint and Firefly. There you have my look at Valiverse Action Force, the Bone Collector. And like always, I tend to be drawn more to the villainous characters. They tend to have the coolest stuff. This guy is no exception. Love the body armor. Love that creepy, awesome mask. If you saw that coming at you, uh, you'd probably want to go the other way or at least change lanes. The back, you've got that nice sheath for the K-Bar. That is brilliant. Love the use of the AR mold. Great gun. Most One of the most common weapons you'll see in the military. So it doesn't seem strange to have more than one of it. Although I can't wait to open the weapon pack. I love the 203 shells across the chest. I think that's brilliant. Love the Magnum. Overall, no complaints here whatsoever. Good size, good height. Love the face sculpt articulation. Continues not to disappoint. Appropriate amount of accessories all across the board. Love it, love it, love it. Keep it coming. The only sad thing is I'm disappointed that tomorrow will be my last Action Force review until I get something else in. Maybe I'll do a Series 1 overview uh, and something to do with the weapons pack. But until then, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. And really, I just want to say a quick shout out to all the guys in the Legions of Valiverse Facebook page. You guys have been great to get to know over the last few days. Uh, I only recently started a Facebook, so I should have been there the whole time. But it's been great getting to know you guys and interacting with you. So thank you so much for that. You guys have been great. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and of course, subscribe to my buddies, the Rejecticons. Links in the description below. That's Inutabi, Sardo, Noomspy82, and Larkin's Lair. And until next time, maybe tomorrow, see you around like a donut. It's Kato. <laughs>